Hi everybody, Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's. Welcome to the Vintage and Thrifted event. Yay, I'm so excited to be here. I hope you've been enjoying uh, these last couple of days. Yesterday was the marketplace and I hope you were able to do some sh vintage shopping. And today and tomorrow are going to be the presenters. And here I am. My name is Kim from Yesterday's Tomorrow's. And if you're watching this and you see that, if you do not see that red light button up there, that means you're watching on the replay. And if you are, if you could just put in the comments, hashtag replay, so I know you're watching. And I can say hello to you. Let me know if you're new here so I can say welcome, welcome, everybody. And I'd like to give a big shout out to Tracy, our fearless leader with Corrupt Around the Clock for um, giving me the honor of presenting today. Thank you, Tracy. I uh, so, so appreciate it. And we have Elizabeth and we have Diane and we have Nara. And let's see, oh, we're missing something. And Janice, hello, everybody. Come on in, if you're here, say hello. Say something in the comments so I can say hello back to you. So like I said, thank you again for for in inviting me here to be in the Vintage and Thrifted ev Spring event. Um, up above, if you do not belong to Vintage and Thrifted group, up above, I it's tagged, all you have to do is a free group, all you have to do is hit the button, go join, Tracy will, um, bring you into the group. Hello, Debbie, how are you? Thanks everybody. Hello, oh, and we have another Debbie and we have a Deb and we have Cheryl Tonlison from Maryland. Ah, oh, thank you, Cheryl, I appreciate it. All right, so today we are doing a vintage um, makeover from a sewing, um, sewing machine draw. Look at that, guys. Isn't that cool? So this is from a sewing machine draw. And um, when you get some things like this, you can do it either way. You can do it like this and put stuff in it or upside down. Thank you, Joey. I appreciate it. Hello, Nancy. Or look at this. This is the groove that's in here for when it slides in and out. So, Or you could put it like a shelf, like a floating shelf and put plates on it here or whatever. How cool is that, right? Hello. Hi, Diane. So today we're going to be doing a, a DIY. We're going to be making over a sewing machine draw. Oh, look at this. And for the sake of television. Hello, Pam. Hello, Joey. Look, I had two of them. <laughs> I have both drawers. So how great is that? Because we only have 30 minutes here. So I was able to get some painted. Hello, Terry and Sharon. And we got Liam from New Jersey. We've got a Jersey girl in the house. All right, so we're gonna put this away. I'm gonna make that for another day for another project. So let me show you what I did here. I know, cool piece, right? Thanks to my nephew, Eric, who uh, he found these somewhere. And he says, Aunt Kimmy, I know you can do something with them. So there we go. So let me show you exactly what I did. I'm gonna show you, because I'm using transfers today, ladies. Transfers do not like moisture. And if I painted it right away, there's a chance that the, 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 the transfer would stick to the paint and not on the surface. So look what I'm using today. Oh, look what I've got. These are the new IOD releases today. That was yesterday. And this one's called uh, blah, blah, Transfer Lover of Flowers. Oh my gosh. So my friend Mara was sweet enough to, to um, send me my order soon, earlier and I got it. So thank you, Mara. If you want any IOD products, go see uh, Vintage Therapy by Mara. And it's got all beautiful flowers in it. Hello, Gail. So this is the one we're gonna use today. Let me show you right here. It's the daisies. And then we're gonna use, look at the writing. Oh my gosh, where is it? Here we go. <gasps> look at the writing. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? I love it. So that's what we're gonna use today. We're gonna be using, well, I used the apothecary. I got the apothecary labels we're gonna, with the letters. And then I'm using on this, it, this is the molds that they came out. This is one of the new molds. These are gorgeous. They have so many, you know, it's hard to see on here, but after you do them, they have so much detail to them. They're just amazing. Hi, Tanya. Hi, Lisa and Gail. Hello, everybody. Thanks. Guys, if you could, oh, you got the hearts going. Thank you. Thank you. Keep sprinkling. Let's get the love out there. Um, so we can get a lot of our fancy friends that are not um, see, uh, not getting notifications. They can come and join me today. All right. So what I did was, you saw what it looked like before. I took um, Paint Couture um, Italian Ivory. It's an antique white. Okay. So now I, I did this. At book. This is the back. Okay. One coat of the antique ivory. All right. After I did that, I took, okay. And then inside 
did the inside in yellow, guys, because we're doing daisies. <gasps> Hello, Mara. <gasps> I'm sure you are. I'm showing everybody what I what I received from you today. We're using so um. Everybody, if you if you like IOD products, go see my friend Mara from Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. Um, Spanish Sunrise. Isn't that a pretty yellow? This is a really, really pretty vintage yellow. It's by Pain Couture. Spanish Sunrise, it's called. And that's what I did the inside with. Look how cool that is. All right. And because after I did that, I took, oh, sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I did Pain Couture, and you have to put a top coat. If you're going to put a glaze over something or a wax or something like that, you want to put a top coat over it so you can move it, so it gives you more time to play with it. So um, Pain Couture, I use their Extreme Guard top coat. Um, it's water resistant, not waterproof. You could just use a decoupage medium, whatever, but this is what I use today. I love Pain Couture products, their paints, their top coats. If you follow my page enough, you know I use the decoupage medium like every single day love them and then i use the pink couture and this is what i use the van dyke glaze the antiquing glaze and van dyke brown so all right so over here is the antique white color just like that the top coat so i can move it i applied the van dyke brown over it and let me get you up a little closer so you can see it can you see it so there's the van dyke antiquing glaze can you see there and then i took a little bit of some very very fine sandpaper and i just um distressed it a little bit because i still want to keep the integrity of it look at that isn't that beautiful look at the van dyke glaze how it got into all that goodness in there i just love it so so it, i think it came out cute and then i even did the van dyke glaze inside here now look at this i guess this is for your thread i don't know but right wouldn't that be cool you can put your flowers in there right i don't know but we're gonna i mean so many things you can do with it so that's what i did to that all right so we can get started because remember what i said Transfers do not like any kind of moisture. They just don't, and they will not stick. And then you will ruin your transfer. You will ruin your transfer. So let it dry, let it dry. So I had to do this ahead of time. Bobbins, thank you. Thank you. So if you're just joining me, this is what it looked like before. I have two of them. How lucky am I, right? And now this is what it looks like all... Oh. <laughs> painted and distressed and ready for the transfer all right so let's get cutting away all right so like I said we're gonna do the daisy let me get my scissors out and we are going to put the daisy on and then I don't know there's two sayings and they're both beautiful I just don't know which one to which one to do but I'm probably gonna do the one that has the daisy on it but um, the sayings are gorgeous on here guys and all of them in there have sayings so um let's see hello vintage pebble how are you and gretchen hey pat from unique how are you sweet friend thanks for coming on guys i hope you were able to catch some of the other presenters this morning they have been fabulous and uh we're gonna all day today till i think nine o'clock if i'm not mistaken and then again tomorrow these are IOD transfers. If anybody's just joined me, these are IOD. This is the very new release. They just released them yesterday. Oh my gosh. All right, so, but if you're interested in that, my sweet, sweet, sweet friend Mara from Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara has them on her website. And you better order now because she's busy shipping out right now and she might be able to get it out today. <laughs> Actually, she's going to be on in a little bit too. So I'm sure she's going to be using it. All right, so let me see how, where I want to put this. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is put the word over here, flowers over here, and then I'm using um, the mold, too. One of the molds um, to put over here. Let me see real quick. I'm going to have to make sure. Have, yeah, perfect. Okay. All right, so let's put the flower on first. There we go. Hi, Gail. How are you? I know this, this, these, this one, there are two releases of two transfers. One is big flowers and I have to get that one too. I gotta, I gotta, um, I gotta go order that. And these are the smaller ones and these are great for smaller projects, but, um, 
Mara did one yesterday on her page with the bigger, um, the bigger flower flowers, and they are just beautiful. All right, so let's put this on here. Let's see. I think that's gonna. What do you think, ladies? You think that's gonna look perfect? Not on the turn tip. Yeah, you know what, Rose? <sighs> Sometimes you don't need your turntable. I need, you know, I needed it while I was painting, but now I don't. You want something that's gonna have a sturdy surface. All right, so let's get that out of there. Thank you, Rose. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm gonna be going like this. Thank you. All right, so that looks perfect. And then it even has a little word it says right there. Can you see? Daisy, how cute is that? It is a beautiful transfer. Okay, so did I want, whoop. Let me make sure it's on where I want it. I want to make sure that Daisy is showing. And I think that's perfect. All right. So now let's get rubbing. Rub, rub, rub. And it comes with a little transfer tool, just like so. Hi, Sharon. Thank you, Christy. Thank you, Sandy. Yeah, they're a beautiful, beautiful one. I didn't even know which one to use today, guys. I was so, I was so torn. I just didn't know, but I love daisies, and this is the spring, and look, so I wore my daisy shirt. <laughs> I taught you. Thank you. Rose said her fancy leader taught her. Thank you, Rose. Oh, my goodness. You ladies are amazing. Thanks. I know it's beautiful. They, you know, sometimes they have a release, and I don't really love everything, you know, in their release, but boy, do I love everything in their release this year. Well, maybe um, not the bugs. <laughs> Guys, did you see the bugs, the new release with the bugs? Do you like them? I don't know. I guess they're, I guess if you do something with them, then they, I probably change my mind, right? If I see it, I'm like, oh, okay, now I like the bugs. All right, now look, see how easy that's coming off? Look at that, guys. Just like that. That is because it is dry underneath. So these are... These are transfers, ladies, and it's the IOD release called Lover of Flowers. Now remember, you want to go slow. You don't want to go fast because if you keep going and you see a piece that's stuck to it, just put it back down and just um, rub it. Thank you for sprinkling, Cindy. I appreciate it. I so appreciate it. All right. Oh, see? Now, when you're doing these, a lot of times it's the words and the very small leaves and um, stems that want you to give them a little more TLC, a little bit more elbow grease. So that's why you want to go slow. Yeah, there we go. Bugs have been, it's not besides me. Right, Judy? <laughs> right, yeah, I know. Um, I'm sure somebody's going to do something wonderful with those bug molds. I'm sure of it. So, and then I'll be like, oh, you know what? Now that looks cute. Maybe. I don't know. Thank you, Natalie. You like my crown on my tree? I love my crown. Periodically, there'll be some occasion that I might put it on and wear it for an event. You never know. I did, me and Mara did wear that crown. There was some kind of event we were in and we wore it. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, Dana, right? Days gone by. There we go. There we go. And then what you want to do is a big fancy word after you get it down. It's called burnishing. And you want to take your fingers and you want to make sure that you get every piece down. Because if you go to put your top coat on it, you want to make sure that no top coat is going to seep underneath. Because if top coat seeps underneath, one day you're gonna go, why is this lifting? And because top coat got underneath and eventually it will lift your transfer. So FYI, resin bug necklace from, the, yeah, well, there you go, see? Let me make a bug necklace. <laughs> uh, like I said, I'm sure somebody's gonna make something with it. I'm like, you know what, that's pretty, pretty cool. There we go, all right. Clean sheet, clean sheet. There we go, look how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, so I just take my two fingers and I go in a circular motion and I make sure that I get every single thing down just like that. And then you can put your top coat on it. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to put a top I'm not going to put a top coat on on this live. But I don't know. I might see some fine line crackling on this piece when I'm done. 
<laughs> so I'm not sure. All right, so there we go. Look how cute that looks. And I love the little word. Where is it? Here we go. Daisy on there, right? All right, so now we have this. Here we go. And this is going to be put over here. And then I have a... Just want to make sure. Can you guys see what I'm doing? There we go. You can see it. I'm going to put that there. And then maybe... And I have a little thing. Yeah. That'll work. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit more towards the middle. Let's see. Because I have my little less sign I want to put there. So I think that's going to be fine. All right. So let's take the backing off. Now remember, be careful when you take the backing off. Because if the transfer sticks to your fingers, it'll, the transfer will come right off on your fingers and stick right to you. All right, so there we go. Good enough. All right, let me just make sure with this again. I'm gonna, it's gonna have enough room. Yes, it will. All right, now when you're sticking this on glass or galvanized, galvanized containers, it wants to stick like a magnet so you don't have much you don't have as much wiggle room as you do on wood uh see you soon mara thank you again we will see you you're coming on live pretty soon love the daisy thing going on i know right cute all right so there is there's the words and while i'm rubbing it off i'll read it to you Hold on, I can sit down for that. It says daisies with their rose tip silvery rays spreading around the yellow boss within and some most prized that had not yet displayed their fairly circle but emerging new from their green hermitage seemed as they blushed Beneath the ardent sun's admiring glaze. And that's what it says, ladies. That is what it says. Now, like I said, words and leaves and thin, thin stems take a little bit more elbow grease. So just go slow. Hello, Cindy. How are you? Thanks, guys. I appreciate you all coming on today. There we go. Whoop. All right, so let's start with this end. Okay. Now, when you're doing these, if, if you get this um, Pacific, Pacific transfer, just when you're lifting it off, real, go even slower than this one. Is it, like I said, when it's words, it takes a lot more elbow grease to come on down, to come off. There we go. If we can see that, there we go, right there. There. Now you can see it better. Good afternoon, Wanda. Hi, Donna. Hi, Bobby. Thanks for coming on. I appreciate it. I couldn't wait to come on today. I've been so excited for this event. So I said thank you again, Tracy Campbell, for your, giving me the honor of the invite. And remember, if you do not belong to Vintage and Thrifted, um, if you did belong at one time, she kind of changed She changed it to now a private group. So make sure you go and hit that button up above and make sure that you are joined in the Vintage and Thrifted group. Because if you were before, you might not be again. Because she changed it now. It's a private group. So go hit that button again after I'm done. <laughs> And make sure that you are, that you do belong. It's a free group, um, but she did change it up. So make sure um, you go check it out. There we go. All right. Oop. Let's see. Thank you. Daisy's are your youngest sister's favorites. Aw, they're my, one of my favorites too, right? There we go. And there we go. It's coming off. This is not giving me that much trouble at all. I just like to take my time because I do not want to mess it up. There we go. Then after this is done, I will do, I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a crackle finish on it. You know, the fine line crackle. Might. I'm not sure yet. But if not, then I will be definitely um, top, you know, putting a top coat on the Paint Couture um, top coat in Extreme Guard top coat. So this way, it's definitely protected. It is 
water resistant, not waterproof, but water resistant. It's made for cabinets, so if it's made for cabinets, you know it's going to stay and you won't have any problems with anything happening to it. But you got to remember, make sure that you um, burnish it. <gasps> Look, oh my gosh, isn't that cute? Look at that. Oh, isn't that adorable? Hey, Lori. Well, thank you, Teresa. I tried to be springish, and then I was doing daisies, and look, I said, I need to get have my daisy sweater on. Now remember, especially these little words, make sure that you are burnishing them down. I like to do a circular motion and get them down. Thanks, Teresa. Just like that, and there we go. Isn't that pretty? Now we have this space in the middle, so now we got to fill it. So let me show you what I did. Now, of course, we could never do um, a resin pour right now, right? We'd never have time. So for the sake of television, let me show you what I used real quick. These are, I used this one, the Iron Orchid. This is their new one called burr, 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 Conservatory Labels. And look at this, guys. Now they even tell you how much product to use. Isn't that pretty cool? They've never done that before. I don't think so. I don't think I've ever seen it. Um, so I did resin, the amazing cast resin, you know, you guys have been using it and I poured them. Look how pretty, aren't they pretty? Look at the detailing in them. It's just amazing. So anyway, I did a bunch of them and this way, then you have them. Yes. If guys, if you're interested, Ma vintage retail therapy by Mara, um, she has them and she's there right now doing orders so um and, and in your order give her a little message tell her i sent you look how cute now see the inside right here where you can put you can um add a little saying these fit perfectly in there they're apothecary labels you see inside some are some are bigger some are smaller they fit perfectly in there um i use the amazing amazing cast resin right here that's come right here amazing cast resin just like that. Oh, this is side B. It comes in A or B, equal parts, and you pour them in. Amazing cast resin, that's what I used. All right, so let me show you what I did. And I used this one. Why bless, isn't that pretty? Okay, so let me show you what I did. Let me tell you what I did. All right, I took one of these in white. Thank you, Karen. I painted this in the Italian Ivory by Pink Couture, the Italian Ivory. Then I used the Pink Couture Van Dyke Brown. All right, so this is Pink Couture too, but I buy them in a big thing, guys, and I don't wanna keep opening the big things, so I put them in smaller containers. But it's Pink Couture Italian Ivory, and then it's Pink Couture Van Dyke Brown. Now, if you are interested in any of the Pink Couture products, all you need to do is go to my website. You'll see a link for all paint products, Hit that, and that's where you find the Pink Couture. And then, bless, is what I used for here. I used these letters, and I spelt out the word bless. I wanted bless, but it didn't fit. <laughs> so bless is fine, and bless is good enough, right? <laughs> well, I'm glad you're loving my tree, Karen. Thank you. Now, um, let's see where I'm going to put that. Now, of course, I love my... I'd like to use, when I'm doing molds, uh, quick bond, tight bond, quick and thick is what I like to use to attach my molds on there. And let me see where I want to put that mold. Now, if you're doing clay, you can use IO, you can, you can use a paper clay, anything you want to use. Now, the, let me just heat this up a little bit because if you heat these up, they will bend a little bit for you. Now, I just did these about an hour ago. I, you know, I don't know if they're going to bend so much if you wait like a month or so. I'm not sure about that, but because I just did them, they're still a little bit pliable. But you, you could, by all means, put, um, you could do air dry clay. Right, let's see. That or there. Now, um... Right in the middle. That looks right. Let's see. I'm trying to figure out where I said, where is the middle? Where's the perfect spot? 
And it doesn't really have to be in the middle. It could even be there. Hmm. All right, so let me get my glue out. This is the brown right here. It's the Van Dyke Brown Antiquing Glaze. Van, can you see it's well loved? Love that. Van Dyke Brown Antiquing Glaze. Um, you could just go to my website and it's on there. All paint products, guys. All right, so let me get my get some glue. Remember, if you're using type on quick and thick, you absolutely need to store it upside down or you never can get your glue out. <gasps> Just an FYI, you can't get the glue out unless you put it upside down. All right, so I just do it with my fingers. You could do it with whatever. You could put it with a brush. There we go. Just like so. And I find if I use just the... Um, you know, the glue we use for our pro, you know, for um, our everyday projects with our, you know, with the heat gun. Um, it just, they, does, they don't stay on as good. Eventually they fall off. For me anyway, I don't know. So that's why I like to use the quick bond, quick and thick. The type bond, quick and thick. What did I say? The quick bond? Type bond, quick and thick. And it will dry clear. But if you have any that's oozing out, just take it off before you even start. And blessed right there. All right, so let me just hold that down while it sets up, and then I'll be able to stand it up, and then you can see. There we go. Okay, it's by Paint Couture. Paint Couture is the name of this company. Paint Couture, and it's from All Paint Products, and you can find them on my website www.yesterdaystomorrows.shop www.yesterdaystomorrows.shop and you just go to my website I mean my Facebook page I have my link to my email there I'm, to my website there we go all right we're holding that down just like so and there we go and if you do have a little bit that oozed out just get yourself a little silicone little thing like that and then you can just go like that and wipe it right off can you see what I'm doing? There's a little bit that oozed out. Even though it'll dry clear, you don't want a big, big thick, clear um, gobs hanging out. So I just have these little silicone stuff here, and I just go like that. Just like that. Whoop. All right. There we go. And there it is. Isn't that, isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. I love it. Now remember, uh, it's quick and thick. It's, you know, it takes a little bit to set up, guys. It does take a little bit. Ah, uh, thank you. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Shana. How are you? Thanks so much. Now you're saying, well, what can you do with this, guys? There's so many things you can do with this container. Um, you can use it for, I mean, you can put it in your bathroom. You put your, um, you, know, you know, with little containers, and you can put your um, cotton balls in there, your... Whatever you use, your makeup brushes, whatever, you can put it in your kitchen or you could just display. But let me show you. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot. Now, I was going to stick them on, but I only have three. I got to order another one. So let me show you real quick before my time is out what I'm going to do with this. Um, I got these little, how cute. These are um, door knobs, uh, no, um, cabinet knobs. Can you see that? And they're the crystal cabinet knobs, right? And I'm going to make. I only have three and I need four. I thought I had four because so I was going to glue them on. Hold on. Let me show you. These are just cabinet pulls. See, they're just cabinet pulls, right? But I love them because they're crystal. So, alrighty. So I'm going to be putting these. Maybe I can just, put, you can see a little bit. And so it sits up on something. I love it when it sits, I love when I prod my things. I don't like things to sit flat on surfaces. That's just me, but I don't know. Maybe I can make it work with three. I'm not sure. So if you see this, um, when I do post a picture of it, um, the place where I get this, um, I get them pretty fast. So maybe I'll be able to get three. But anyway, I'm going to, um, there we go. These are going to be, it's going to be where it's sitting up. Just like so just like that on something 
Oh my goodness. So anyway, so there it is. Isn't it? It came out so, 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 so cute. Um, I hope I inspired you to um, create some beautiful, something beautiful springy for your home. And well, there you go. I think I do need four, so I have to go get another one. So make sure you go um, follow. Our next creator is going to be Faith, Faith with Crafting. She's on next. So make sure that you go and check her out. And I want to thank you, thank um, Tracy again for the invite. I so, so appreciate it, uh, Tracy. Mwah. And uh, you have been in my prayers. And um, thank you everybody for joining me today. Um, it was, it was been an amazing event and you will see me on other people's pages. So if you see me, say hello, I'll say hello back. Alrighty, everybody uh, have a wonderful day and I will see you soon and uh, go see the next presenter. Love you all. Mwah. Thank you everybody. Bye.